Hey, look what I got. Today I want to review it. We'll put it through some paces, I think. So check it out. Uh, I got a G2 guillotine, um, I don't know, blacksmith helper, I guess they call it. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's a G2 from Yesteryear Forge. We're gonna, we're gonna try it out today. I, I don't know, I'm excited. We'll, we'll see what happens. So just real quick, I'm not gonna do an extra Patreon video for this one, but I will give uh, Patreon a three-day preview of this video before it goes public on YouTube. Uh, if I could figure out how to push all the buttons, if I did, then that's why you're seeing this video, right? And what I'm gonna do is try making a uh, claw hammer. I've got a, a lady I work with who asked me to make one as a gift and yeah, I don't know, I'm as lost on a claw hammer as I am on any other hammer, but um, I do have just a small piece of axle which I think will be really good for the claw hammer size that I want to do. And uh, we'll hack a piece of this off. It is uh, snowy and cold outside, so I'm gonna try forging this in the propane forge. I don't do a whole lot of work in the propane forge, but we'll try it today. And when we get to putting in the fullers, we'll we'll put that uh, G2 guillotine machine through its paces. So while that steel's heating up, I figured I'd pull this over here away from the forge so you can hear me and uh, I'll tell you what comes in the kit for $150 is what I paid for it. Um, they have a couple of different versions. The G2 has the uh, the dies fit in milled slots. Um, so, you know, there, there's a slot milled into it that the dies slide into. They have another version where it's just these bars are holding it in, and I don't know how sturdy that was, so I popped for the extra to get the milled one. Um, Construction-wise, it's pretty dang sturdy. I mean, it feels like it. I don't know if it'll hold up to doing hammers, but it sure feels like it will. Um, the hardy thing, I guess it comes standard with a one-inch shank for the hardy hole. I didn't know that I didn't have a one-inch shank for my hardy hole. I have a 7 8 so I actually had to uh, take this off. It just bolts on and grind it down. Uh, they offered to ship out another one. It would have cost me a few bucks for uh, the piece and to, to get it shipped, but uh, I just decided I didn't want to wait and milled it down so it fit my hardy hole. Um, the dies it comes with, I guess, are half-inch steel by two and a half inches wide, and so, I mean, you can go to any steel supplier and get it. It's just a standard half inch by two and a half inch wide. Um, they sent two sets. They sent the, the round fullers. That'll fit in like that. And they sent uh, flat fullers. So um, they sent the two sets of dies and what else? That, that's about it so far. I mean, I haven't done anything with it. I got it fitting in my hardy hole nice and tight. Um, and other than that, I've been waiting to put it through its paces. So there's lots of videos out there of people doing little tiny stock. Oh, let's see how it works on a little tiny stock. I want to try putting some fullers in a hammer. It's a big old hunk of axle. Um, and, and we'll see how it holds up and, and how it does. is this going to be? No, look, she's ready. That's how hard it is. It's, uh, 
super dang cool. Just like that, my time with the guillotine tool is done. Um, that worked so fast, and it was so much easier than that thing I was using or the spring fullers I've built in the past. Um, this was money well spent, I'll tell you that. Here's the only thing I'm going to have to modify about it. Um, that's the top where I was hitting it. You know, this is just mild steel, so the, the end that was hitting the steel is fine. Uh, but the, the end that I was hitting with the hammer, I'm going to have to weld. Um, you know, I don't know, some 4140 or something uh, a, a little tougher, maybe some 5160 welded on top of that so that this just doesn't get destroyed. I mean, that, that's a lot of, that's a lot of deflection for, I think that was four or five heats. Um, and if that happens that amount every time I put steel in this, you know, I'm going to have to replace these dies every month. So uh, I think if I weld something on the top, it will it will prevent that but that's the only thing here's the bottom die again no no issues with it whatsoever so I guess I could have played around with it more but now I'm in the middle of making this hammer so um, I'm gonna go until the propane runs out and um, we'll see maybe I can get it done today who knows nothing left <laughs> it is on its last legs so I don't know I guess I'll call this video done I'm gonna throw this in the forge to anneal since I'm out of propane but um, I wanted to get you a close-up of what that guillotine tool did and how clean yeah I mean ah, I can't keep it in focus so but look how clean those fullers are and literally, this hunk of, you know, whatever this steel is, whether it's 4140 or whatever it is, um, it's some kind of tough steel that they used on an axle, and it just, it just bit right into that and took care of it. So, pretty dang cool. Um, as for my first attempt at a claw hammer, eh, you know, we'll see how it comes out. Um... If it if it comes out good, maybe I'll do a build video on those. I do like I do like that ball peen finish on it. It'll give it a bit of a rustic look. The lady I work for or work with um, said she wanted a rustic hammer, claw hammer. Um, so 
That's what I'm trying to make. Anyways, um, G2 guillotine tool. I will put a link to um, Yesteryear Forge where you can get them if you're curious. Uh, like I say, that one that I bought with the two dies, 150 bucks. They've got a, a, a cheaper one that was not quite half, but um, but close to half as much. And then they've got all kinds of other stuff um, you can check out. But I will put a link to that one um, that I bought. And uh, thanks, guys. I will catch you next time. Oh, and before I forget, um, some more updates to the Forging It Forward. Um, we're up well over 200 members now, which is really cool. Thank you so much. And um, we're contemplating doing something kind of special for the scouts and other, you know, younger kid type people that go to camps to, uh, to do some blacksmithing as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. That, that. An announcement on that might be coming real soon. So uh, other than that, make sure you get your, your nominees in. Um, bio video. You've got to have someone else nominate you, and you need a bio video, meaning um, you tell us about yourself. So a bio video would start something like, Hi, I'm Jason. I want to be a blacksmith. And then you take over from there and tell us about yourself and show us where you want to forge, or if you have a small shop set up already, show us around. Uh, again, a reminder, this is not... A giveaway for upgrades. It is a giveaway for people who who are find themselves in a situation where they can't afford the tools to get started. Not upgraded, started. So anyways, uh, that's that. I will check you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks again. See ya.